Welcome to Exomet Video. Thanks for having me. Timo Frank is a graduate in health economics from the University of Rhein-Main and a passionate blogger on various topics in the healthcare industry. He is also an initiator and board member of the hashtag Gesundheit platform. His interests are on transforming health policies and the emergence of e-health. Can you start by telling us something about your background? As you mentioned, I'm a graduate student in health economics at the uh, Hochschule Rhein-Main in Wiesbaden. And not only that, I studied in Bayreuth, which is a university that exists for 20 years for health economists. And yeah, that's basically my background. And as you mentioned, uh, I'm deep into e-health, digital health and emerging technologies. So you blog on your own website. When did you start blogging? When did you find a passion for blogging? I did start alone two years ago. So right uh, when I started my master studies and then I opened up my platform and don't blog on my own anymore. So I created a platform for students called Hashtag Gesundheit. And so you are coming to Expermet. What do you hope to get out of the festival? I think I'm going to see a lot of innovations which are interesting and tangible kind of because in most conference headings you don't have health where you can see health and touch health and really get into it. You just talk about it, right? So I'm looking forward to take away deep insights uh, and touch points of healthcare where I couldn't see them on other conferences and the festival or Medicinale is a good way to re uh, represent health in that way. And what will you be bringing from your own experiences? From my uh, study, uh, I think uh, evidence-based information and uh, health innovations are always a topic in high, s not in not in high school, but in in college. But uh, you cannot see them. So what what we are bringing is scientific backgrounds, and we are testing our learnings from university setting in the real world, and we can kind of. Uh, touch and feel if it's real, what we learned at university and uh, what's, hap what's happening in reality. Yeah. So obviously you blog a lot about health economics. What do you think is the biggest economic challenge for the healthcare industry? Talking about big data and technology, it's data itself. Big data, um, if we see how many data are collected, data points are collected today, it's not just the ambulatory and statutory, so the, the outpatient and inpatient setting. It's more like the third market in the healthcare sector. Prevention and personalized prevention will be the big thing in the next generation of healthcare. So the data, the big companies like Amazon, like uh, Google, Facebook are collecting right now um, will be used and they will be personalized. Will this be sold to health insurance companies and hospitals around the world, this information created by Amazon and Google, as you say? Well, Germans do have the fear, the German angst, <laughs> to uh, be sold. So they don't want that data. Well, there's a historical context for not wanting people to spy on you all the time, correct? Yeah, so data security in the context of big data is the most important topic and I hope to see that happening at Expomet uh, as well. How can data be kept safe? People mention the blockchain and decentralized platforms a lot. Would this work or will a new solution need to be created? We don't know. Healthcare can change quickly and I think Germany is well prepared for that because we have a high regulatory environment working in and uh, Blockchain technology can like be intrusive and open up uh, data security platforms, but uh, I'm I think we're really safe and prepared for that in our setting. Would you encourage students to be a part of the healthcare system? I would make healthcare interesting again, so kind of an American approach, uh, more aggressive and more offensive show that healthcare is exciting and right now healthcare is pretty boring and as soon as technology comes in I think 
students are interested because the new generations X, Y and Z, they are into gaming, they are into playing and gamification can be the next step to make it interesting for students. For example, the new technologies like Google Glass, they kind of give an insight into surgery in a way that hasn't been achieved before. Do you think this could inspire people? I think it can. I don't know if Google Glass will be the thing to showcase healthcare, but there are a lot of wearables and uh, insidables, and I'm looking forward to that. And so finally, what would be your one message to the Expomec community ahead of the festival? Come to Expomet if you want to make and do healthcare an interesting part of the society again, because every industry has its influences, kind of, and healthcare does not. So be a healthcare influencer and do your thing to make healthcare interesting again. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.